Look at this place. Can't beat waking up to this every single morning. Walk down, fish off your backyard dock. You got some sailboats out there this morning. All right, what is up, y'all? Welcome back. It's day three down in the Keys. As you can see, usually I try to wash off the reels, uh, kind of some early morning chores and stuff, get some stuff charging. There's a lot of fish out here. This morning, lots of little bait fish. I don't know if you guys can see those. But day one, we missed our two big fish yesterday night in last video. Uh, we did catch big fish on the big rods. Now we're gonna try to upgrade and upgrade. We do have something fun planned for today. I'll put a little sneak peek right here if you didn't see the video right before this. It was pretty, pretty wild. We don't really ever have an opportunity to do that back home in the 402, obviously. But today's agenda, come down here, catch some bait fish. We do have something pretty cool planned for today and then hopefully come back out here tonight catch a big one. We got some stuff figured out. Like again, I showed it a little bit of different technique. We tried for uh, using the big rods yesterday and it definitely worked. We're gonna try to upgrade and upgrade, like I said, throughout this trip. So today we're going for bigger. So day three, new day, new opportunity. And first on the agenda is try to get some bait fish. Day three in the Keys, see if we can make it a good one. All right, we got our little tactic here. We stand behind this pole to kind of camouflage ourselves and drop a nice little piece of shrimp down in there and hopefully they're not too skittish this morning <laughs> well that's actually not a bait fish and a mangrove snapper these got to be 10 inches to keep we do want to try a catch and cook on with one of these down here but this guy's only about eight inches so we're gonna let him go if you've been keeping up with the videos then you know but uh the fish get pretty skittish once they see a couple of their buddies get plucked out of the water so it gets harder and harder to catch the bait fish Got him. Oh, it's another mangrove. They're definitely hungry this morning though. This is the quickest I've ever got them. This one is not gonna be 10 inches either. But if nothing else, pretty little fish. Throw them out there. No way I don't scare his buddies. All right, let's see if we can get some of the grunts and not the mangroves. Sometimes within the trips, you kind of got to live and learn and just kind of adapt. Let's try not to get a mangrove. I also lengthened my leader. God dang, another mangrove. This one's tiny. Hey everybody. Crazy how saltwater everyone uses shrimp. Back in the 402 and freshwater everyone uses night crawlers. Just kind of goes hand in hand with the water you're fishing, I guess. Oh, barracuda. Barracuda. We got a barracuda down here. Oh, that's not the barracuda, but I think it's the fish we want. It is. Nice. It's a pretty good size one too. This is what we can use as bait. Be two good pieces. And we'll see if we can get a smaller one or another one. It's kind of a fun thing too. You gotta catch your own bait and stuff. And it's a lot cheaper. Come out here, catch your own bait, use the waters as a resource, and it's kind of fun. Knowing you gotta work for it a little bit. I don't see the barracuda anymore though. That is the right species. Yes, sir. All right, get our nice little dock rod holder sitting in, turn it, give it a couple tightens, and we are gonna fling our cut bait out. See if we can get it far without backlashing it. See if we can't whip up something big during the day. If you guys, uh, like I said, if you haven't been keeping up with the videos, made a little contraption here. Started putting the weight higher up on the line, that way it goes like this. That way this floats up here, and as you can see, you got about a foot difference where this sits right on top of the weeds. That is what started to work in last night's video. I think that'll be pretty good, actually. Turn the clicker on, clicker in to engage. That way, before they feel the resistance, they're hooked. All right, we're fishing with the big rod. See if we can get some more bait. All right, later, little buddy. Now they're kind of getting smart. Got you, buddy. All right, put them in the live well, catch a couple more. Good morning, Sasha. How's it going? Got your bagel? My bagel. <laughs> Cream cheese. What's up, Nat?
Sasha's giving her a try. I just threw some shrimp down there, so hopefully they're getting active. But I see no. Okay. Oh, got him! Whoa! Yeehaw! Ooh, there's a barracuda. Oh! That one just got concussed. <laughs> Give her the three, the two, the one. Didn't work. I think you have one, don't you? I do. I was gonna say he was just swimming with it. Tapped it though. That's a good one. <laughs> hey, got some bait. I saw the line going under the dock. I That's why I was like, shoot, I have one. Got some bait. Now we're gonna go get some lunch. Key Largo Fisheries, is that what it was, Ty? Yeah. Key Largo Fisheries. Apparently has uh, some cool fish feeding stuff and there's a bunch of fish and uh, has pretty good food, so. Wash off salt water, that way they don't rust and get all corroded and stuff. Get some food! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> there you go. Sit anywhere you like. Thank if you. If you go down those stairs, there's an area where you can make a donation to the um, to the coral reef and get a bag of fish from the cooler underneath and feed them to all kinds of sharks and whatever oh, cool. are hanging out. Awesome. New kind of beer. Oh, there's some big... T oh, look at the nurse sharks down there. Those are big nurse sharks. That's what we're trying to catch off the dock today. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, you got about 20, 25 nurse sharks sitting under there. A bunch of big tarpon just cruising around. Of course, you always got the pelicans over here just lurking. Everything down in Florida is just fish filled. It's awesome. Taste test. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> We got something special for tonight. Uh, the owner's son is actually gonna help us out. We're putting a light in the water to attract some more fish and I'm gonna get another chum bucket, so. The battle wounds from yesterday's tarpon. Oh, look at, look at this big guy. Yeah, right there. <laughs> That's cool. I thought a couple of those looked like parrot fish. Bunch of sharks. All right, make a donation. So we can grab a couple of bags of food. We're gonna get to feeding on them. Oh, the pelicans are coming. <laughs> <laughs> the sharks will start to come up. Oh yeah, they are. Oh, they all started moving. Oh, that's a big boy. Nat, what you think? You got a new friend? Yeah, they're cute. <laughs> the tarpon. Oh! <laughs> Scary. <laughs> Such a cool experience. Everywhere down here in Florida has fish. This is this is pretty awesome. And just the water is crystal clear. Can't beat that. What do you think of the food? Amazing. Good. My salad. <laughs> 
10? Definitely recommend. That was kind of cool. It's basically like a big aquarium with the uh, crystal clear water, the nurse sharks, some tarpon, some parrotfish, and some mangrove snappers. So now we're going to go kick back, relax, maybe even take a nap. And then it's game on for nighttime. Big fish is on the agenda. All right, all right, it is time to go down and conquer. Took a nice fat nap. Uh, I was actually gonna wake up at 5.30 and try the sundown fishing, but as you can see, it looks a little bit later than 5.30. We slept an extra hour. We're gonna go try to catch a big one tonight. I also brought another rod, a little bit smaller. We're gonna try some squid on there. So there was some hogfish and stuff down here, so we're gonna give her a go. I think our uh, folks from Germany are gonna come join us. It's gonna be a good night. Have some drinks, hang out. Looks like there's a spotlight floating. Where's that from? Oh! Scared me! I was like, it looks like there's a spotlight floating! I'm meditating! Oh yeah, there's a barracuda right there. Alright, oh we got the car battery, and he put a light down here. We're gonna make this happen tonight with a big one. Camera stand fell over. Alrighty, well, typical Florida weather. It's uh, coming down pretty good. Not exactly sure of our plan with this weather. Um, it's supposed to stop in about 45 minutes an hour, but uh, it's scattered throughout the day, so. We are going to still try to catch some fish for a catch and cook. We do have a good uh, catch and cook in mind. Get some rods ready, hopefully catch a 10 inch mangrove snapper down there and uh, kind of hang out inside and see where the weather takes us and uh, what we can all do from there. Doing a little bit of exploring the town while it's raining. Largo cargo! Largo cargo! Pretty large puddle. We're about the only ones here. Oh yeah, shark teeth in the capsules. We did a little shopping, got poured on. There's a lot of puddles. What a day in Florida. I guess when you plan trips down here, you gotta, gotta add a couple extra days and you basically guarantee weather like this being in the tropics. So at least it was only one day of it, not five. So might be beer 30. Oh, that's what Gatorade this has Sprite, Gatorade, and Tito's. Pretty, pretty good once you get the flavor out. <laughs> I'm sexy and I know it. Well, there was a plot twist. Hope you all enjoyed that. Yeah, this will work good because we have a light here too. All right. Preparing shop for tonight. We got a fish, salad, steaks, and possibly some other stuff. Gonna whip her up pretty good. Now it's just my job to get a fish. 
All right, all right. I hope y'all can hear me. I put the waterproof case on you. Ladies and them, our German friends went to the store. My mission, go down and catch some fish. So just kind of got to load up. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go down here, try to catch some fish. I don't know if Florida fish bite the rain, but we're going to chum them up, make it happen, and I'm determined. We're going to get them. Strong blast, and I'm getting wet already. Like I said, plan a Florida trip. Prepare in advance for a couple days of rain. So throw a lot of chum out, a lot of shrimp. I got two bags of shrimp. We're gonna go for two, two keepers. Holy shnikes. It's also raining pretty darn good. So I don't know if they're gonna bite in the rain. But I got a beer in my pocket. We're gonna make the best of it. Oh, yep, yeah, you got robbed! After the sun went down, it's kind of tough, not gonna lie. Oh. What the heck? Come on, Sasha, pull one out! That's got the head on. She, she demanded the head. Did you have one? No way. later tonight. It's not exactly the fish we wanted, but yeah. I caught a couple fish. It was too hard with the rain down here. Uh, my camera kept falling over. We got about 30 mile an hour winds and a lot of rain. So. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Florida! Look at this! We got a waterfall off our stairs. Oh, we got 
a whole river right here. <laughs> Just wringing out the hair. <laughs> on, on all the phones, we have a tornado warning. Yeah? A tornado warning? Right. Over here for this area, yeah? His own recipe, honey mustard chicken. And then we got some big old steaks. We're cooking out in the tsunami. He said he's been here, what, 14 years and you've never had a rain like this? This is crazy. New York Rip. This is getting wild out here. Tsunami, mustard, onion, garlic, pepper, salt. Hey! Cheers! Cheers! Let me some tomatoes. It's like a full out hurricane out here. Oh boy! Yeah! Oh my gosh! We got the trash floating around. It's some serious uh, Florida weather right here. We literally have like an inch left. We just lost power in here and we're living life to the fullest. I think all of the Florida Keys, or Key Largo in itself, just lost power. <laughs> Peace! Oh, there's a branch that came down under it. Big boy. Yeah, a branch, big old branch came down. Two of them.